full crow moon, March 1, 2018. Winter retreating, the beginning of springtime. The full moon on Thursday, March 1, 2018, in Virgo, has many different names due to its signifying changes from winter to spring. Winter is retreating and springtime is on its way. It's time to set yourself free from the restraints of winter and swim to the moon. This full moon is also known as the crow moon or magpie moon. The Native American full moon names for March are largely based on these being considered the last moons of winter. The crow caws its farewell to the season. In Native American medicine, the crow represents justice, shape-shifting, change, creativity, spiritual strength, energy, community, sharing, and balance. As the temperature begins to warm and the ground begins to thaw, earthworms appear, heralding the return of the robins. This is why this full moon is also known as the worm moon. Of course, the truest mark of spring doesn't happen until Tuesday, March 20th, 2018. That's the vernal equinox, the actual first day of the season. The east coast of the United States officially switches over that day. The days will grow longer and warmer. Use this extra full moon energy to make the necessary changes in your life. The full moon in Virgo is an ideal time for ceremonies and rituals to promote friendship and working with others. You can use healing rituals if you have had problems with family and friends. So let's remember the gifts that this period brings and trust that this is a good time of reflection and revising your journey in life. In the grand flow of life, these inward moving energies are condu conductive for fine tuning and helping to bring really greater clarity, awareness, and focus. Spring is the best time to clean out your life. Start with cleansing your spirit. This can be done using smudge, God's white light, or crystals. For a thorough cleansing, use all three. Clean out closets and drawers. Let go of what you no longer need. Clutter is a sign of negative energy, and you want to remove any negative energies from your home. Clean off the clutter around your sleeping area. This is really important as when you sleep, your subconscious mind is still active, and you want it to have freedom to move in positive directions. Clean out old papers and receipts. Why hang on to a receipt from three years ago? Unless it's for t taxation purposes, let it go. You can take your time and do this cleaning over the next few weeks. It will benefit you enormously on your spiritual path. I feel that all the wounds are a special time for us con to connect to the Great Spirit as well as the Moon. Do something special in honor of this full moon. The flower associated with March is the shamrock. The shamrock, also referred to as clover, can rock our worlds with symbolic insight. They are remarkable survivors and can endure seemingly insurmountable challenges in their stubborn determination to live and thrive. Through droughts, Substandard soil and ravenous goat appetites, the shamrock is a champion survivor. This is the spirit of Mars coming through fierce world. St. Patrick's Day is an enchanted time, a day to begin transforming winter's dreams into summer's magic. This month we have an extra bonus of a blue moon March 31st. This is the last blue moon of the year. The blue moons are always powerful energy times and the perfect time to learn how to tap into full moon energy. A full moon is a perfect time to find out what direction your path is leading you to. I do a special full moon reading that is designed to give you answers from spirit about your life path. 
during the next month and the rest of the year. Don't miss out on this unique spiritual reading design, especially for you. Please click a like if this video spoke to you. Make sure you sign up for my newsletter on my website so you are always notified of events and specials. I thank you for taking the time to listen to my video. Full Moon Blessings, Cherokee Billy.